Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Michael Hartley with Action Coach. What needs to pivot in my business, kickstart your day, get you refocused, because business is changing daily right now. So what are those things that we need to focus on us to pivot right now in these moments? So first and foremost, we got to look at our comfort zone. Our comfort zone. It has, whether we wanted it to or not, it has shifted. And for us to work through certain things, we have to understand that our comfort zone, we have to get out of it. So when we look at, you know, what our business does, the pivots it needs to do. When we look at the pivots that you and I both need in our day-to-day -day life, when we look at all of those kind of things, our comfort zone must pivot. It must change. The things that we aren't normally used to doing, we have to now go do. Every person on your team is now in marketing and sales. I don't care what their job used to be. Every person on your team, their job is marketing and sales right now. Your job as the leader, the owner of the business, the CEO of the business is to lead them and take care of them. That's your role. Your role is to make sure they're good. Their role is then there to make sure that your business is moving forward, making sure that you're communicating with your past customers and clients, making sure that your customers and clients are good. Again, that's their role. It's not yours. You must focus on them and make sure that they're focused on your clients and your customers, making sure that all of them are still good throughout all of this. What are those things in your comfort zone that you need to pivot? What does that actually look like? How do you get out of it? Well, you have a, you know, someone like an accountability partner as an example. It's why we you know, just started that with a lot of our clients to make sure that we started with a subset of group and got amazing results. And now we've started to put that out to everybody. So you have to look at these things. How do you get out of your comfort zone? How do you focus on going, okay, I've never done this before. My business has never done this before. That's okay. Look at all these businesses that are doing things that they've never done in the past and may never do in the future. And they're doing them right now. You have vodka companies making hand sanitizer. You have electronic companies making face masks. We have some clients who have completely shifted what they're doing. They've gone from a service-based business to a product-based business. That's a massive shift. And it's kind of cool. We have other clients who are going, okay, what do we need to do? You know, they're, they're in the, you know if, if you're in the cleaning industry, well, maybe you need to offer things that you've never done before just to make sure everyone is safe. We have clients in the pet industry who are making sure that their, their customers are good and not only just the pets. So what are those things that you need to do to get out of your comfort zone? Maybe as a leader, you've never truly led. Maybe you've been more of a manager. Maybe you're so used to doing sales and now you need your team to do them. Maybe that's out of your comfort zone. Maybe it's a matter of, I'm no longer gonna micromanage things. Maybe it's a matter of saying, I'm actually gonna let things go. And, and, and only this, this section of stuff actually matter right now. So anything else, whatever people are doing, that's okay had a, a conversation with a client the other day and uh, they were so focused on the fact that someone in the company changed the email signature. I'm like, who cares what the email signature says right now? That doesn't matter. We shouldn't even be talking about it. We have to focus on the things that actually do matter. So how do you get out of your comfort zone? What are the things that are currently in your comfort zone that you're like, okay, I, I just need to take that first step out of it. Maybe that's in, you know, engaging the marketplace. Maybe that's actually in making cold calls. Maybe that's a matter of saying, you know what, I'm going to put a, a Zoom conversation with all of our clients together just to make sure everyone's good. And maybe we add a little bit of value for 15 minutes to their lives because they're just sitting at home. What does that look like? How do you bring joy to somebody's life right now? You have to think through those kind of things because that's what matters, truly. That's what matters. Our role is to make sure other people are good. And then our team's job is to build the business. So we have to be able to focus on those kind of things. So your comfort zone. When we look at your comfort zone, maybe that means that you have to go do some stuff. So maybe that means that you need to go learn some stuff. What is it that you need to close the gap in knowledge on? What I'll share with you here, every single one of the most successful people I've ever known in my entire life have had two common traits. 
Those two common traits are they're a the constant student. They're willing to go learn, be poured into by others. Doesn't matter if I think I know more than you. I'm gonna, there's something I can learn from you. They're the constant student. And the second quality is that they check ego at the door. They remove the I know attitudes from their lives. Every single one of the most successful people I've ever met, tens of millions of dollars in their bank accounts have those common two traits. Constantly learning, constantly looking for what they need to do to close the gap and stuff that they don't know. Removing I know attitudes and things like that. So how do you focus on that? If you're not taking advantage of this moment right now to learn and have others consistently pour into you, you're missing an opportunity right now. If you're not, if you're not focused on going, what are those things that I need to go learn in this moment? Because, and my team, what are those things that my team need to go learn right now? How do you focus on that? Where do you go? Is it books? Is it podcasts? Is it our system? We have over nine months of edu education on our system. Is it through things like this, webinars, and being specific with which, which ones? Because let's be honest, there's probably like 10,000 webinars a day right now across the world that you could jump into. Everyone has a webinar. So what are the right ones? I'm, I'm thankful that you're engaging with us. And, and, and because you keep coming back, I can see that we're adding value to you every single day to get your mindset started. Because if your mindset isn't right, if your mindset isn't where it needs to be, your day will not be what it needs to be. The results you get won't be what they need to be. If we're not good, nothing else can be. So we have to be good first. So part of that is getting out of our comfort zone, which may mean that we need to go learn some stuff because we're going to go do stuff that we've never done before. If you're a service-based business and all of a sudden you're like, I need to do a product, well, there's some learning there that needs to take place. If you're, if you're shifting your entire product or service to, that you deliver or how you deliver even, maybe the, what you're delivering is still the same. It's just how you're delivering it is different. We did a whole week on virtual leadership and that's why, because right now we have a whole bunch of individuals who have never done virtual leadership before, virtual management before. I'm thankful for, you know, I've been doing it since about, you know, 2000 and what? 12 ish. I'm thankful for that. So what are those things that you need to go learn right now? How do you add more value to your customer base? So pivot your com comfort zone, get out of it. Maybe you need to choose one thing every single day that is outside of your comfort zone. Great. What's yours going to be today? Maybe you need to then go learn some stuff to be able to actually take proper action. We talk about the formula in life. Dreams, goals, learn, plan, act. Massive dreams. Dream big. Dream huge. Dreams, goals. Now we need to set the major milestones based on the dreams of what does that look like? What does the 10-year milestone look like and the five-year and the three-year and the two-year and the, the nine months and the six months and the three months? And then we talk about you need to go learn. Because now that, now that we've set these massive goals and these dream, from these dreams, if, you, if there's not learning that is needed, it's not a dream. It's a to-do item. You already know how to do it. So why aren't you? That's the question. Most likely because you don't have a coach holding you accountable to doing it. Let's be honest about this. So what are those things that you actually need to go learn right now? And then where do you go learn? How many hours a day should be focused on learning? Or a week? If your business is shut down right now, it's learning every single day. If your business has pivoted and you're still in business, then it's you know, a couple times a week. What are those things that you need to go learn consistently right now? So that way, when your doors, when you have your relaunch of your business, you're sprinting. You're not just a slow walk, crawl when you open the doors again. It's a matter of going, we are going to sprint. What are those things that you need to do? Which then brings us to the third point today. Which is we need to be focused. Forward. Focus forward. What we allow into our brains is what we accept. So maybe for some of you, you need to stop paying attention to some of the news right now. Let's be honest. It's not that great of what the news does, right? They focus on mostly of the negative. It's why I love what John Krasinski is doing right now with uh, some good news. I love that. He's publishing, you know, it's been two episodes, right? One week kind of a thing since he started it. 
about the amazing things happening in this world. There was a teacher who saw uh, one of his students was struggling with math. So he took a whiteboard and stood out front of uh, the house and taught the student through the glass front door. So that way the student, his, the student could actually learn some stuff because the parents weren't able to close the gap on, on, the, on the math stuff. How freaking awesome is that? How do you pay it forward? Well, it focuses, well, you first we have to focus forward. What are those focus forward things that we need to have in our lives right now? And then how do we pay it forward for others? How do we focus on the fact that, okay, this is a chapter in our lives right now, and that's okay. We need to make sure we're doing the right things in this moment to get past it and get through it. It's a chapter though, it will end. Focusing forward then says, okay, based off of all of this stuff, when this chapter ends, what are we doing to make sure that at the next, at the, at the page one of next chapter, we're solid, we're good to go, we're sprinting. I go back to that analogy all the time because that's what you should be focused on. If you have pivoted your business, okay, how do we focus forward on now being, uh, taking the reactive stuff and making them proactive stuff? How do we do that? How do we choose every single day what we need to do? Which brings us to the final point of this morning, which is when we make choices, I, we talk about the fact that between, between stimulus and action is our opportunity to make a choice. And that choice is our responsibility. Our choice is our responsibility. And there's a responsibility process that a lot of us go through. And, and we talk a lot about, you know, above and below the point. Above the point is ownership, accountability, responsibility. And below the point is blame, excuse, denial. Oftentimes our brain starts below the point. It starts in the blame. It starts in the denial where we're going, yeah, you know, it's really not that bad, right? This will be passed in about two weeks. We're going to open the doors back up. We'll be good to go. You are in denial. That's still what you're thinking right now. Legitimately, this is a 90 day game. Legitimately, it's somewhere between May 1st and end of June that life will resume. And then we still have the economic stuff and, and the government's going to do what they can to throw money at this problem. We have to look at this and, be, and take responsibility. So we can't be in denial. We can't just be like, yeah, no, we're going to open doors in a couple of weeks. We'll be good. Now, we have to be focused forward on saying, all right, this may actually be longer than we anticipated it to be. I'm encouraging you to plan on as though this is life through the entire second quarter. And then when it ends earlier, we celebrate. Plan on this being life, though, through the entire second quarter, 2020. And then... When things are different and they happen sooner, great, now we get to celebrate. But plan on those kind of things. Then you get into the blame. Oh man, my business has had to shut down or it's doing less business because of blame. Versus taking true responsibility of this whole thing and saying, well, here's the cards we've been dealt. Here's the situation. Here's the status of my business. Is it thriving? Is it doing kind of what it used to do. We made some pivots and so we've kind of maintained status quo. Is it slowly dipped or is it completely shut down? Where are you in that kind of curve? Where are you in that gradient? And then you have to say, okay, what are the things that we can control? And we got to take responsibility of those things. You have to take responsibility of our mindset every single day. It's so interesting. We, you know, we have the opportunity of coaching over 60 clients. And week one, everyone was like freaking out, right? Because it was very unsure. And when, 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 you're, when you don't have clarity around things, you have chaos. And so we needed some clarity. Then we added clarity and then it became, okay, this is just what it's going to be. That was kind of week two. And then we got into week three and it was like, ah, oh, now I'm going stir crazy. Man, this weekend was rough. Man, I just, I'm not sure. Those kind of thoughts start to creep in. Instead of saying, you know what, every single day, I'm going to be thankful that I'm here and I'm going to take responsibility of the things that I need to focus on. I'm going to be the most positive person in the room. How do I do that? How do I make fun out of everything we do? How do we make fun out of the things that we don't normally do? How do we make doing things that we don't enjoy doing, going back to comfort zone? When we get out of our comfort zone, how do we make that fun? I go back to the fact that my entire dissertation when I got my PhD was on gamification and it's been proven 
when you gamify stuff, it makes it more enjoyable. You increase engagement. And when you increase engagement, you get better results. So how do you make things fun? How do you take responsibility to get out of your comfort zone? How do you take responsibility for what you need to learn? How do you take responsibility to focus forward and, and remove a lot of this negative crap that comes into our brain? What are you allowing into your thought pattern every single day? And when you identify that you have a negative thought, how do you remove it? Are you running towards something that you want to have or are you trying to just to run away from something you don't? The way that the human psyche works is most of us tend to run away from something first before we start to run towards something. Are you running away from just going, I, I just wanna survive, I just, I wanna pay my bills. Or are you saying, you know what? I have some major legacy goals. I have some major things I wanna pass down. So this is a chapter and I'm still heading towards my ultimate goals. I, I've talked to so many business owners who are just freaking out. They're like, I can't think about where I want to go. I can't think about all of that stuff right now. I just need to survive right now. So don't talk to me about the future. Don't talk to me about that. Talk to me about what I need to do right now. And what I'll share with you is we are very short-sighted, short-minded if we're just trying to fix the corrections for today, we're, we're, we're missing the bigger picture. You see, if you're driving and you're just focused a foot in front of your car, you can't see ahead. You can't see the next thing that is coming up. And so all you're doing is you're just focusing on what corrections do I need to make with the, you know, with what's going on a foot in front of my car, instead of going, you know what? I actually can see that there's a whole bunch of traffic coming up. Maybe I need to take a different route altogether. Don't be so short-sighted that you're just focused on what I need to do today. That matters. Absolutely. 100%. But we can, we need to take it from the long-term focus. And then we need to say, okay, where do we want to be at the end of this quarter? Let's, let's go that far out. Let's go three months out, 13 weeks. Where do we need to be 13 weeks from today? And then bring that back down to this week and then take this week and bring it down to the day. Yes, we need to be focused on daily stuff, daily leads. How many leads should your business bring, be bringing in every single day? I don't care about the week right now. I want to know that by day, today, whatever day you're watching this, if you're watching it live. Great. On Wednesday, April 8th, what is the amount of leads you need to bring into your business today? How many of your past clients do you need to reach out to today? That stuff absolutely matters. You got to take responsibility of that. The thing is, though, is if it's just focused on that and it's not leading towards something in the future, we're totally missing the sight of that. You're missing an opportunity. You're missing opportunities to then go learn, to make sure that you are prepared for who you need to be for that future person, for that future business. If you're just focused on getting more marketing and more sales right now without having something that's tied to, you're just looking one foot in front of that car. So we got to get out of our comfort zone, whatever that may be for you. After that, then we got to go learn some stuff. So now we're out of our comfort zone. Now what do we need to learn to be proficient at what we're now doing that we've never done before? We've made that pivot. Then we have to focus forward and consider paying things forward. How do you add value to other people's lives? How do you share some good news? How do you make one other person's life better today than it was yesterday? And maybe if we all just did that one day at a time, life in general would be a lot different. And then how do you take responsibility of all this stuff? Choose. That's the actual answer. You have to make the choice. The gap between stimulus, the catalyst, the thing that takes place, the gap between that moment and your action is your opportunity to make a choice. What choice are you gonna make? Only you can, do, only you can choose that. Now, you can share that with somebody. You can share it with an accountability partner. You can share that with a coach who then holds you accountable to those kind of things. Studies have shown when you write a goal down, you're, I think it's over 50% more likely, something that sits in the 60 round, uh, you're in the 60 something percent more likely to actually accomplish it. And then when you share it with somebody who will hold you accountable, you're over 75% more likely to actually have it take place. So maybe you need to write some stuff down today. And then maybe you need to share it with your coach. 
I'm Dr. Michael Hartlio. I'm here to help elevate your business and enhance your lifestyle. If you have questions on any of this, if you're watching it live, throw it into the q and I'm here to help answer that. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn afterwards, put it into the comments. We'll answer your questions. Uh, if you're looking for ways to get engaged right now with an audience, we talk about the fact that we need community more now than ever because we're all isolated. So if you need to build community, we have a virtual networking group. It's every single Thursday. Uh, I encourage all of you to jump into it. It's complimentary. Uh, if you're a client of ours, it's, it's free for life. If you're not a client of ours, uh, it's free for the first two weeks. You'll see how we do it. We do it very differently. I guarantee that we're adding value to your business every single week because we do things differently. So uh, if you want to jump into that, more information is right there, dmh.actioncoach.com slash networking. If you're a client, uh, you already have access to all this stuff. Uh, it's pretty fun. We get engaged. We add value every single week, and it's a great way to build community. So get plugged in. Don't be isolated right now. Take responsibility of making sure that not only uh, are you building community, uh, but we all are kind of together. And uh, make it a great day. Make the choice to make it a great day. Choose different. Choose positive. Choose the action you need. Bye for now, everybody.